Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Lincoln, this is HypoSource, and this is our new Hypo 7.5. I say new because we've changed a few things. We've put on a new spigot and a new hose, make it easier for you and uh, less assembly when you receive it. I wanna make a batch here and talk to you a little bit about it as we make it. Um, first of all, hypochlorous acid, as you know, is a powerful disinfectant. It's about 80 times more effective than bleach at killing pathogens like E. coli. You can make it at home, make it in your business. Uh, you can save a ton of money on disinfectants and bleach uh, because the simple ingredients are salt, vinegar, and water. You'll see what we put in here. Let's start by filling it up. This is 7.5 liters, which in America is two gallons. So we're going to put in two gallons of water. Now, the water doesn't need to be distilled. It doesn't need to be purified. You can use tap water. You'll adjust the pH to match the water that you're using. Uh, this is made specifically so you don't need pressurized water. You can bring the um, water on your head and tip it in here. Pour it in. Oops, bit of a splash. Remember, water doesn't need to be purified because you're going to make disinfectant. If there's any pathogens in the water, they're going to be dead in just a few minutes here. Cleaner, cleaner water better, obviously. There's an electrolysis cell in here that we'll show you a little bit later. It does the work. What is the work? The work is to take the salt and separate the sodium and the chlorine and recombine it with hydrogen and oxygen. So you end up with hypochlorous acid powerful chloride solution. So the instructions are right here. Oh, this by the way is the power supply. This is what's bringing power from your 230 or 110 volt outlet into the cell. And it regulates and gives a DC power to the cell of exactly the right voltage and current. Here on the label, we tell you exactly what you need to do if you wanna make 200 ppm or 500 ppm. In this case, let's make 200 ppm. It takes eight minutes to make 200 ppm. Two spoons of salt, two spoons of vinegar. The salt obvious is, obviously is to provide the chlorine. Salt, as you probably know, is NaCl, so the chloride. Sometimes it's hard to open your salt container. The spoon looks like it might be a tablespoon. It's actually custom. It's about 14.5 grams of salt. And it's custom because it's exactly the same amount of vinegar and salt that you need. So there's one spoon of salt. There's two spoons of salt. Why do we give you such a long plastic spoon? Because we want you to stir it after you put it in. So you stir up that salt just a little bit. Make sure it's dissolved. You can use iodized, non-iodized salt in this machine. Other uh, machines in the industry require non-iodized salt. The Hypo is pretty rugged. Remember, we made it to work anywhere in the world that you need a powerful disinfectant or wine cleaner, or plant supplement. Here's the vinegar, 5% distilled white vinegar. If you can't get vinegar, you can get acetic acid, but we found that almost everywhere in the world you can find vinegar. You could stir that to make it feel better. Not really necessary. That changes the pH. So that's, make, that's an acidifier. It's making it a little bit more acidic. Now, you notice we have a lid here. This is a nice thing to put on after you make your mix. It keeps the flies and the bugs out, keeps the dust from falling in. But please take it off while you're making your mix because remember that we're bubbling and there's some gases that need to escape. Okay, we've put in our salt, we've put in our water, we've put in our vinegar. Now we have to push the start button. You see that bubbling? That's the salt being split. The chlorine is recombining with hydrogen and oxygen and that's making hypochlorous acid. Within eight minutes, we'll have 7.5 liters or two gallons of 200 ppm hypochlorous acid. It's that simple.